Welcome to Schneider House Cooking by Matthew Schneider. Today we are going to make a loaded baked potato soup. So here are the ingredients. Call for four potatoes, but I'm going to double the recipe today. So eight potatoes, 16 slices of bacon, uh, eight tablespoons of butter, four uh, cloves of garlic, um, half a cup of yellow onion, uh, two-thirds cup flour, uh, four cups milk, uh, two cups half and half, four cups chicken stock, um, two tablespoons of kosher salt, uh, one tablespoon of garlic salt, one uh, tablespoon of black pepper, two cups of mild cheddar, two cups of sh uh, sharp cheddar, two cups of sour cream, and chives as your garnish on top. So that'll be what's in this potato, uh, potato soup. So now let's get started, shall we? What I do first is you melt this butter in this pan on low, medium heat for two to three minutes. And you add garlic, You add garlic, onion, and this and it's bacon fat from the bacon that I just cooked. for two to three minutes. And then after the two to three minutes, you stir in flour. Milk and half and half. And then you cook that for a lot longer. But I'm starting it in this pan and it's going to end up in this. And you need to do that until this onions get soft. In tender and that's where I have the spoon is because I'm going to try an onion to see which is amazing But you just keep stirring this, trying to cook this onion, get it nice and tender. Got to get this butter all melted. So basically, I decided to do this. So for the next five months, I'm going to be doing soups because of the winter season. Try an onion, a little bit more. A 
now I'm going to whisk in my flour. Whisk in my flour for one to two minutes. Because right now I'm basically creating a roux, which is your sauce. Get that nice and smoothly, not clumpy, not rocky. Add in my half and half. And my milk. Which is good. Add more flour. Get that good. Nice and good. And then cook that bad boy. up a little bit and then once you keep that smooth is what you're looking at right now keep whisking until smooth Go in this pan since I'm gonna have to add chicken stock. Which is amazing. Add my chicken stock, which is four cups, basically the whole thing. And then just keep stirring that, which is your soup. And then after you do this, you bring it to a light simmer for five to seven minutes.
And then you're going to add black pepper, garlic salt, kosher salt. Black pepper, your garlic salt, and your kosher salt right there. Mix it all in. Right now, it's too runny, so I'm going to add a little bit of Wonder mixing flour to try to get this a little bit thicker. Because you don't want a runny soup, you want it a little bit thick. In here. And you do this for five. seven minutes. I'm going to do it for seven minutes. Then after this, you add cheese, bacon, and a potatoes. And then your chives will go on top. And then you also have to get sour cream. which I almost forgot about. There you go. Let this simmer for five to seven minutes. And that is going to be your soup, basically. Right now, it's runny. I have a spoon. I'm going to taste test it. It's getting there. Just a tiny little bit more flour. Kind of thicken it up a little. As soon as this is done simmering, add in cheese, add in cheese, bacon, sour cream, and the potatoes. And that is what you do.
And this is a guy named Sean who made this recipe. So two cups of sour cream. And the name of the plate thing, the site. Is I wish I wish you dry by a guy named Sean. I believe he's the one that made this recipe for my wish I dry. Because I don't want to get in trouble. So I basically have to say who everything is by. Stirring in this stuff again. Turn it down a little bit. I'm going to taste test it again. When you cook food, you're supposed to taste test your food. Much better. Amazing. Got your potatoes right here. Got your cheeses right here. Got your bacon. I'm getting to the stage where in a minute and a half, I gotta add all my stuff. As it says, after the five to seven minutes, if you'd like to use your cheeses and bacon as a garnish, reserve a fourth of a cup of each. Stir in the remaining cheeses, remaining bacon, and sour cream. Remove the pot from the heat. Scoop in potato chunks in your pan, breaking them into small pieces or, or leaving them chunky, depending on your preference. Serve hot with your favorite garnishes, like cheese, bacon, and chives. I'm not going to take the potatoes off the heat. I'm going to leave the potatoes on the heat so they can get a little bit cooked. I cooked them last night, and they're okay. But I'm going to add them in in 20 seconds. Because your bacon is going in. I'm not using it as a garnish. only thing I'm going to use as a garnish is the chives. But the bacon is going to go in. Like right now. There goes your bacon. My sharp cheddar cheese. My mild cheddar cheese. And I'm going to put all this potatoes in here. And I'm going to cook this. I'm going to do 10 minutes. I'm gonna do 10 minutes on like a medium to low simmer. I'm 
one cup of sour cream. which will help thicken it up too. And in a minute, I'm gonna take this camera and I'm gonna zoom in in my pan since you can't see it and show you what you guys looks like. But I gotta add one more cup of sour cream since I'm doubling the recipe. And I only have one measuring thing to be able to do. Now this, I'm going to test, and I'm going to taste this, see if it's good, see if I need to add anything else, because all the ingredients is in this soup. Get this soup nice and good. Only thing I'm worried about is the potatoes. So I'm gonna try this. And see. For seven minutes I'm gonna cook this bad boy. Get these potatoes soft. But want to take a look? There is my potato soup. That looks amazing. I just gotta get these potatoes soft a little bit more. But I want it a little bit tad thicker. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of this Wondruff. And then stir it in really, really, really good. So for November, I'm making another soup. So when you guys watch this video, send me some ideas for a soup in November. Because like I said, October to probably April, I'm going to be making like five soups. And then one of them I'm going to do a chicken chili, probably in January. So my November one and my December one, I need to come up with a soup. So when you watch this video that I post on YouTube when I'm done. Let me know what type of soup you want me to cook. For the next two months. Because January, I'm gonna do a chicken chili, and then February I'll do a soup, March I'll do a soup, April I'll do a soup. Since it's the cold months of the year, Soups are amazing at this time of year to eat. I'm 
I'm going to test this out one more time with a spoon. I just got to get a potato. Got to get these potatoes soft. I can get these potatoes soft in the soup. The soup will be done and it will be finished. Amazing. I also hope you guys like my star apron. Trying to find a potato. Gotta get these potatoes soft. Next three minutes, I have it on high. Trying to get these potatoes soft. Then I'm gonna simmer it for like five minutes. And then this video was finished. So I'm thinking when I do my videos, I'm gonna give myself about 30 to 35 minutes of video when I do my cooking. They're gonna be a little bit longer than my sports ones, but I have to make them longer because cooking takes longer. So basically I'm just waiting on for the next two and a half minutes for this to be done on high and then I'm going to turn it down to like low heat for like three minutes uh, medium heat and then like three minutes on low heat I'll test the uh, potato again and then it should be done and then I have my chives right here which I'll probably throw in right now anyway Just top of my lunch. Stir those bad boys in. Now we're getting heat. I'm gonna use this instead. But try a potato and see. Oh no. My, my potatoes are probably going to be a little crunchy. Gonna let this simmer on five minutes, and then this video is done.
So yeah, that was an easy recipe to make. It took me a lot longer yesterday to prep it than to actually do this video today. That's why I have to prep before I do my videos, because if I don't want to do prepping, why on my videos? If you watch any of the cooking shows they have on TV and everything, they have everything already pre-prepped and everything. So all they have to do is when they do their recordings of their videos, all you have to do is add everything in. It's already cut up, measured, everything. It's the best way to do a video. Because think about it, if I had to measure and cut up and everything and do my video live, you're talking to probably an hour and a half video instead of 30 to 35 minutes. No one's going to want to watch an hour and a half video of somebody cooking. The less time, the better. So, I got about three more minutes. I have the lid on, which I'm about to put back on. I'm going to stir it one more time. lid on for probably a minute and a half and then with one minute left I'm going to stir it one more time I'm going to zoom my camera in on the soup come back and call this video a day I'm going to let that sit for one minute. And then this video is finished. So, yep. That is loaded baked potato soup with bacon and chives supposed to be on your garnish sour cream potatoes onions garlic salt two different types of cheeses the sharp cheddar and the mild cheddar one's a little bit thicker than the other that's why they call it sharp and mild still cheddar cheese just a little bit one's thicker one's thinner that's the only difference so now one minute left I'm going to stir again, and then the last 20, and then the last 45 seconds, I'm going to let it sit. And the last 40 seconds. And then, we're going to zoom in, and I'm going to show you my soup. Okay. Which is going to be amazing. That is my loaded baked potato soup. Doesn't that look so delicious? Smells good. And I'm sure it's going to taste good. Until next time, thank you for joining me at Schneider House Rules. I'm Matthew. Until next month when I do my next soup. Later.